Hi, welcome to Centre Life Balance. My name is Colin Donohoe and today I'm going to teach you some very simple exercises that can help you develop more internal power, balance and harmony in your life. We're going to start with a very simple joint opening exercise that enables the chi to more freely move around the body. Many people have a lot of tension in their body and they become stiff. Tai Chi and Qi Gong and these type of exercises help the body to become more soft, more relaxed, so that the energy can flow easier through the body. Secondly, I'm going to show you a very, very short and simple body loosening exercise set that again will help you to develop more chi flow and relaxation in the body. Lastly, we're going to do a very simple Qi Gong set that you can do anywhere, anytime, that will help you develop more balance, more energy and more harmony in your life. Let's get started. Feet together. Spine straight. Head suspended from above. Sink the weight. Knees slightly bent. Gently, we step out. About shoulder width apart. Toes touching down first, centering our weight. The first movement is gathering in. Gathering in is a good way to break up each movement and to remind yourself to relax and release and let go. It's gathering in the chi energy from around into your center. Generally, with the breath, you breathe in as you gather in, breathe out as you press down. The first movement is to relax and turn the wrists we will progressively move through each of the joints in the body. So we begin at the extremities, beginning with the wrists and fingers. When you do this movement, you want to have your fingers and wrists as relaxed as possible. You can start slowly at first, gently turning the wrists in forward circular motions. You want to try and keep your shoulders relaxed as much as possible. I'm going to emphasize again and again throughout this video, softness, relaxation, gathering in. For the second movement, we want to turn the elbows. With fists, you're going to make circles with the elbow. First in one direction, about eight or ten times. Then change direction. We close this movement by gathering in and relaxing. The third movement, rotating the shoulders gently backwards, both shoulders together at the same time. You can do about eight to 10 of these and then change direction, moving the shoulders from back to front. Nice and relaxed, nice and soft. gathering in. The next movement, we want to rotate the shoulders, alternating one with the other. We want to do this movement using the least amount of energy. Nice and soft, nice and relaxed. You can do about eight to 10 cycles 
then change direction. Try to keep your head in the center and be aware of your plumb line from top to bottom. Gathering in. The next movement we want to slowly rotate the arm. With a slight turn in the upper body you want to follow your hand with the eyes softly. Don't stretch your neck around to look. Just out of the corner of your eye, keep an eye on your hand, keep it in vision. You can hold one hand into the upper chest area, just gently touching to balance the movement. Trying to keep the shoulder as relaxed as possible. Do for about eight or 10 cycles then change direction. Switch sides, now do the left arm. As you can see, we're going from joint to joint. First the wrists, then the elbows. Now we're at the shoulders. A lot of our tension is carried in the shoulder area. This is why we really focus on relaxing the shoulder area as much as possible with Tai Chi and Qi Gong. Closing the movement by gathering in. The next movement we're going to open the chest. Keeping the fingers gently touching the upper chest area. Start to make little circles. You want to really feel the like opening of the chest here. There should be a stretch for your chest. Then change directions. The next movement, just lifting the arms up slightly, not too much, you want to keep the shoulders relaxed. Then turning from left to right, rotating just the upper body. Notice that I'm not moving my hips here. You really want to just be moving the upper chest area and look straight forward. Keep your head straight ahead. This will encourage only movement of the upper thoracic region. For the next movement, now we're turning around, looking behind us, arms in relatively the same place. This is the first of the spinal turning exercises. Again, keeping the legs where they are, but now we're getting some hip movement in as well. For the next movement, letting the arms go completely now, as if you've got no bones in your arms. Shoulders relaxed, just gently turning from side to side, letting the arms swing and hit the body gently.
gathering in to close this set. This movement, shaking the hips a little bit. Some people find this one a little bit weird, but this is a very good body exercise to shake up the chi energy in the center of the body. A lot of people get stiffness in their lower back. This movement is excellent for releasing lower back tension. Gathering in, close the movement. Stepping in now, we're going to balance on one foot and gently lift the opposite leg, making rotations using the hip. With this movement, you don't want to be straining yourself too much. Just gently lifting the leg softly, staying relaxed as possible. Now we're going to switch sides. Maintaining relaxation, balance and alignment. Letting the body turn naturally as you open the hip area. Change direction. Gently stepping back again now, shoulder width apart, gathering in. Next, we're going to rotate the knees, inward to outward, then outward to inward. You can do about 10 in each direction, or more if you feel like it. The knees work very hard in Qigong and in Tai Chi. Our body weight traveling down through the body puts a lot of stress on the knees. So it's a good idea to warm the knees up as much as you can. Stepping in now, both knees together and rotating the knees again. About 10 in each direction or up to 15 or 20 or more. Stepping out shoulder width apart, gathering in. Next, kick out the leg, loosen it up, releasing any tension from the knee. Switch sides, do the same with the other leg, kicking out, letting out any additional tension. Next, we're going to rotate the ankle. Just making little circles with the tip of your foot balancing on the ground. You step back approximately one to two feet and just let your leg rest there as gently as you can and make little circles with the ankle. Switch sides, same with the opposite ankle using the least amount of energy possible just gently turning the ankle the key here is relaxation gathering in closing down breathing out
feet together, sink the weight, stepping out about shoulder width apart. Now we're going to gently bounce up and down, not too much, just a little bounce, letting the arms swing from back to front, front to back. We want to maintain the head suspended from above, keeping the spine straight with a gentle bounce in the legs, knees slightly bent, just letting the energy sink down and a nice flowing movement, letting the arms become empty and relaxed. Gathering in. Now for the next movement, letting the arm swing in alternate motion. A bit like walking, going for a stroll. Maintaining a relaxed posture. Again, not moving the head too much, keeping the spine straight. Just gently, slightly turning letting the arm swing. This movement comes from the center. You can do this movement for a minute or two minutes or for as long as you like. This is a great exercise for loosening up the body and getting some movement into it and getting the chi flowing. Gathering in. The next movement, turning from left to right, letting the arms swing as if you have no bones in your arms. Shoulders relaxed. Just turning the hips from one side to the other. Try to maintain your center line as best you can while turning from left to right. Try to get into a rhythm with the movement. You can do this movement for a minute or two minutes or for as long as you like. Gathering in. Now again bouncing a little bit up and down, letting the arms swing across in front of each other as if you've got no bones in your arms, nice and relaxed, nice and soft. Each time I would alternate crossing left in front of right the next time right in front of left. There's a great movement to loosen up the shoulders and bring some nice relaxation into the body. Getting a nice rhythm going. Clear your mind. 
let the body relax. Gathering in. Step in and relax. Feet together, sinking the weight, stepping out about shoulder width apart. The first movement in this Qigong set is gathering in. Using the least amount of energy possible, let the shoulders sink down as the hands come up. Breathing in as the hands come up and breathing out as you press down. Knees should be slightly bent. And as you come up, gathering in, should straighten the legs just a little bit and as you press down bending the knees a little bit more as you go down breathing in breathing out using as much relaxation as you can Next, bring in the hands up in front of the body, palms face down, up to about shoulder height, then letting the hands come slowly down gently, crossing past the body and back up again. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Again with this movement, allowing the knees to straighten slightly as you go up and bend as you go down. Allow the shoulders to sink down as the hands come up. Gathering in. The next movement, bring in the hands up in front of the body as if you're holding a ball, then starting to turn the ball forward. As you do this movement, you can slightly turn the body, ever so slightly, just from the waist if you need to. But try to maintain the same speed with each hand.
gathering in. Next movement, bringing the hands up, crossing in front of the body, palms facing the body as they come up and facing out as they go down. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Using the least amount of energy possible. Very softly, very relaxed. Gathering in. For the next movement, similar to the previous movement, bringing the hands up in front of the body. As you come down, breathing out, then let the hands float back up again as you breathe in a little bit, and then breathe out again as the hands go fully down. Breathing in. As you come down, breathing out, stopping about halfway, breathing back in again, and then breathing out. Hands coming up in front of the body as before. As you come down, breathing out, with a slight lift, we breathe back in again, and then breathing out again. And continue. Gathering in. For the next movement, making fists and letting go as we turn to the left. As the hands come in, making fists. As we turn, releasing and letting go. Breathing out as we let go. Breathing in as the hands come in. Change sides, letting go as the hands go out, fists as the hands come back in. Gathering in. For the next movement, we bring the hands up to about waist height. Holding them out in front, just in front of the body. We're going to hold this position for about 30 seconds. You can hold a little bit longer if you like, or if it's too much, just do 15 or 20 seconds.
when you're ready, you're going to open the hands slowly as you breathe in, out to the side, away from each other. Then bringing them back in, breathing out. With these exercises, you may feel uncomfortable trying to make the breath go a certain way. If it's more comfortable for you, you can breathe the opposite way. Breathing in as the hands go out, breathing out as the hands go in, or breathing out as the hands go out, and breathing in as the hands come in. Go with what feels most natural to you. Repeat this move about six or eight times. Gathering in. For the next movement, similar to the previous one, bringing the hands up about chest height, holding them out a little bit out from the body. Elbows should be bent about 45 degrees. Hold this position for about 30 seconds. Then when you're ready, slowly open the hands wider and wider, then slowly bringing them back in again, so they're almost touching, and then extending them out again. Breathing in and out as the hands come in and out. Repeat this move about six or eight times. Gathering in. Next, we're going to hold the hands at about the same height as your head. Elbows should be bent about 45 degrees. Holding this position, hands about six or eight inches apart. It's important to relax the shoulders as you do these movements. You can hold this one for a bit longer or shorter if you like. Then when you're ready, allow the hands to move out slowly and then back in again slowly. coming in until they're almost touching and going back out again. Repeat this move about six or eight times.
As you finish, close the set by gathering in. Nice and relaxed, gathering in, breathing in as the hands come up, breathing out as the hands go down. Then as you finish, allow the hands to rest on top of each other over the Dantian. Close your eyes if you like. Hold the hands over the Dantian. Feel your center. Gently letting the hands come down by your side. Step in and relax.